Hello and welcome to this edition of the WT Coaches Show. I'm your host, Kelton Weens, and I'm here with Lady Buff Volleyball head coach, Jason Scoach. Now, Coach, this last weekend you hosted Midwestern State and Cameron at the box, and you walked away with two conference wins. Tell us about those matches. Uh, well, the, the first thing is, is um, people, uh, our, our, our media relations had been touting that we had won a couple matches in row 3-0, and in those two matches we won 3-1. And uh, what we told the girls and what we took away from that is, um, the, the coaches in this conference, since I've been here now, I'm actually one of the older coaches, which is tough to say after four years. Um, but these coaches can coach and they can recruit. And we played Midwestern probably, what, three weeks ago? And, 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 and I've never seen that massive of a change. So, and they're big. And if they keep this pace, a lot of teams are gonna be hurting when they play Midwestern. So that was a good victory because that they are way better than the record shows. Eastern because it's our travel partner and it was at home. Um, that that was probably um, that match. I think people's jaw would have dropped because Eastern's defense was sensational. So we won in a hostile environment at Eastern, and then a team that we we handled pretty easily first time around, and then whatever they're doing is working. So uh, there were victories, but uh, for um, you know good good reasons. Eastern's defense. Um, they wanted to uh, stick it to us, and then uh, mentally with our girls, how do you beat a team that you've already beaten? Um, you know what I mean? You always hear about in basketball, it's tough to play a team a third time and win. It's sort of that with Midwestern. So I, I, those, team, those matches were way more difficult than what the records probably showed. Coach, your back row this season of Kia Strother, Kylie Schultz, and Lauren Britton have all played really well this season. What... What is it about those girls that makes them really mad? Well, those three girls in particular, um, those girls w want to fix their own problems and want to get better. And so um, we can push them, we can prod them, we can coach them, taunt them. We, we can go through every facet of, of, of options of development and they want to push themselves. Particularly with Britain, if anybody ever sees me during the game, I'm getting up. I'm actually just talking smack to her. I'm not saying anything really special. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, that's embarrassing that you can't dig that ball. And, or do I need to sub you out because you're embarrassing? And I'm, I'm saying this tongue in cheek because she responds to it, right? She smiles and then she goes, I'm gonna dig the next ball, you know? So um, Kia recognizes like this is her last year and she hasn't played in, in, in two years. And so um, Kia's honoring that. And then Kylie is, I think, catching on to some stuff like uh, me and Keith uh, have talked about, and, and, and particularly with Keith uh, is saying is, okay, your, your setting's coming along, but there's other ways that you could affect the game. And so she's putting pride in defense. And, and, and I think she's realizing the praise that she hears from her teammates when she's making some great defensive plays. So those girls are just, um, it, it's 99% it's, it's them attacking the situation and trying to fix it on their own. Coach, you've won 13 matches in a row, and at the end of the season, a 13-match win streak doesn't matter. How do you keep your girls focused on the <clears throat> next game? That's a tough one because our last week and a half of practices have not been good. Um, they're not, they haven't been bad. It's, it's, we have some things to fix that, there's things that you can fix in a season and things you can't. And <clears throat> we're trying to push the envelope on stuff that I think could hurt us come playoff time. So therefore, we're winning, so they're getting comfortable. And then we're trying to fix things that aren't, that are issues. So by default, practices are gonna have a lot of errors, yet they're not, the, the motivation needs to be there about, like you said, okay, we've won 13, but what does that matter if we've won 20 and then we lose our first loss in 20 matches in the playoffs? So they, they've got to get wired right about being motivated for the right things. Um, but right now it's like, okay, where there's a lot of errors in practice because of what we're working on, but then, hey, we're winning, so it's not as bad as the coaches say. You know what I mean? So there's that, there's that balance. So, um, you know, it, it, it's just, it's going, yesterday we had some good um, people make some, we had some people make some good comments in leadership. So I think it's going to get steered right. The, the, the issue that we face is these coaches in this conference, this is one of the most underrated conferences in the country, and if anybody saw Midwestern, everybody that came up to me afterwards was like, that team is massive, and they took it to us set one. Um, I, were you there that match? Okay, they took it to us. Kingsville just beat TW in Commerce, and Kingsville's even more athletic, 
and we play at Kingsville. So I, I, I think the best thing for WT Volleyball right now is every team is very good this year and developing. And for instance, Cameron, we won 3-0, but if you look at the score, scores are close. We, it could have gone to four. I think the Cameron coach would agree. They gave that to us. They gave three serving errors at the end of set three. And that's the only reason we won that set. But they're not as athletic. But their volleyball IQ and their consistency was really, really strong, you know. So we couldn't go in those massive runs like we did against Midwestern. So the best thing for WT Volleyball is that these other schools have really, really good coaches and really good players, and they're developing. And so we have to be on our toes every match. Kingsville's going to be brutal. Um, but what's great is is every match we played, it's they're they're tough, and so I, I don't know. I I think that's the people always talk about tough scheduling and how it makes you better. Um, we're we're going through that right now. I mean, Angelo just came back and beat two teams that they lost to the week before. Tarleton is in every match, so um, I think our conference is molding us more than it ever has in the last four or five years. That's a good thing. Finally, Coach, the next <clears throat> notch in your schedule is a trip to Texas A&M Kingsville. What do you see out of the Javelina so far? Well, when we played them the first time, uh, I was talking to the coach, and their setter was new and struggling. So it sounds like their setter is, again, just, you know, figuring it out. Um, <clears throat> they have a girl from here. I think it's Paladura, is uh, Kelsey Washington. We've always liked her. She's pretty darn good. And, and, they're, and they're outsides. They're, they're, just at, they're athletic. She runs a very fast offense. Um, and and they, they swing. They swing heavy. And so um, when we watch them on film, they're putting a lot more effort and emphasis on defense this year. So you have an offensive team that's naturally the kids she recruits. Um, Tanya, the coach, was the coach at Frank Phillips. And historically, her teams, coaches seem to have a pattern. Um, and her pattern has been <clears throat> find kids that can you know, rip it and they're offensive. Well, on top of that, this year they seem to be really putting a lot of emphasis on defense. So um, we just better be ready for a really good match. So, uh, but again, it's, it's going to be the, the way it's shaking out is nothing's guaranteed. Um, we have a three-game lead in conference, and I actually feel like things are tied up. That's how close the conference is. And for playoffs, we're going to have to travel. So we tell the girls these trips like – Kingsville are great to see what kind of character we really have because um, this is playoffs starting now.